Hey everyone, this is Tom from Game Changer Audio and uh, we are here at uh, Superboot in Berlin and we have um, a uh, list of uh, products here with us, but uh, most notably the Motorcent Mark II and our new concept right here, uh, the Plasma Voice Eurac module, which is currently in a uh, design phase. It's an early prototype, but more on that later. Uh, so. Um, for those of you who know, we uh, first show a, showed a prototype of Morrison's uh, back in 2019 here in, uh, at Superboot Berlin. And um, it got a lot of attention, uh, luckily, and we launched a crowdfunding campaign to uh, get f uh, financing from um, our customers as investors and to, to actually build a synthesizer. Uh, and so we did that. We shipped out uh, the Morrison Mark I. It's a pretty aggressive and pretty exciting instrument. Uh, and we gathered a lot of feedback from the existing customers. We had uh, some other uh, new ideas. And then there was also some manufacturing challenges that we needed to uh, solve. And all of those things together led us uh, to the second version, the Mark II version. The Mark II version is essentially the same instrument, uh, just with a um, few smaller differences. Uh, it has, in addition to the analog uh, motor sounds, it also has uh, digital oscillators that you can mix in with the motors. Um, and it has a different uh, filter topology and uh, fully uh, assignable modulation, se modulation section. Uh, in addition to a few other uh, things that we've uh, added, but the core raw sound is the same and shared between Mark I and Mark II. So Mark II is available at retail, you can buy it from us and uh, uh, the best dealers who ca carry it. Uh, it is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 3,300 uh, euros and the same in US dollars. Um, it's not a cheap instrument, but um, I'm pretty sure you will get your money's worth with it. Um, it's, a co it's in addition to being its own thing, uh, using the motors for producing synthesis. It also, from uh, terms, uh, from perspective of features, it's it's, pr it's pretty rich and, and a complex thing. Uh, it has these keys that you can uh, program to do several different things. It has built-in sequencer, arpeggiator, motion record that can also be used as a performance looper. You can. Uh, record your performance on these uh, key, uh, keys. Uh, you can motion record all of the parameters on the front panel and parameters that are um, hidden deeper into menus. Um, you can uh, um, detach uh, the three voices that the motor scene has uh, from the keypad and make them respond to different performance tools like MIDI keyboard, uh, sequencers, sieve inputs. And Essentially, you can make three parts out of one instrument. So that's what you're getting for, for your money. The Plasm series started out with this pedal right here called the Plasm pedal. And at first it was uh, designed with a guitar player in mind. Um, but once we released it, we found out that uh, people um, like to uh, send synthesizers and drum machines and other uh, audio sources um, through this pedal and that got us thinking that maybe uh, it's not only for guitar players and maybe uh, a, an effects pedal is not the only form factor in which this effect should be. Uh, and um, our fans already know that we have expanded on this line of products. Uh, we have uh, the regular plasma pedal, we have a signature version for Jack White and Thurman Records with some uh, added functionality. We have a, a large 19 inch rack uh, that adds a ton of functionality. Uh, so the plasma pedal, the, the one that actually started this line of products is uh, $299 in euros and US dollars. The plasma rack, it's in a very narrow niche of products, so it's a bit more expensive. Uh, it's uh, $1499. But now we want to take plasma technology in a completely different uh, direction because until now all of these products are, an effect, are effects. So you have to send an instrument or an audio through it. But this module, Plasma Voice, uh, takes the plasma lamp and turns it into a voice that doesn't need audio going through it. You only need to trigger it.
and the uh, idea behind this module is uh, remotely similar to complex oscillators that uh, several UREC uh, builders are doing. Uh, the lamp is the carrier in the system and then there is a modulator which we can bend and change to modulate the lamp and that is how it produces all of those sounds. So you don't need an audio signal to put in, you just need a modulator for the lamp as a carrier. Uh, this is uh, a concept that we're that we are showing in, at Superboot. It's by no means a finished product. We just want to show people that uh, our next direction that we're going into. Um, so this is going to change a little bit, but the idea for what it will uh, do is going to stay the same. So uh, it can be a uh, triggered percussive instrument, it can be a voice, uh, it can be just a free-flowing oscillator and uh, you have four triggers, you have the main trigger and then you have four additional triggers to trigger the pitch envelope, the filter envelope and the uh, modulators uh, en envelope and all of these work together to create a uh, unique sound. So the final product might look a bit different. Currently this version is kind of thick, but it's going to be uh, uh, very thin. So yeah, it's going to fit in all, all, all of the cases. The front panel might change, but the sound is the thing that is going to not change, but evolve. Let's put it that way. We're hoping to have a final product ready for summer release, but let's see how it goes. Uh, we want to release it when it's ready and it's when it's fun to play.